I wanted to introduce you all to um, our nursing program. We have two types of programs here at Harper. There is a certificate in practical nursing and then the associate degree in um, nursing. And those will allow you to then um, go to the state and apply for a licensure exam, which will allow you to either become a licensed practical nurse or a registered nurse for the state of Illinois. Nursing is caring. One of the most important qualities to have is caring and the values. And I want to bring up a point here at Harper. We have four very important values here at Harper, and they are respect, integrity, collaboration, and excellence. This is one of four medical surgical rooms. So in these rooms, we would find adults, psych patients. We would find geriatric patients, any kind of medical surgical patient. So for instance, this is a student. If she needed to practice the skill of doing a dressing change, she would be working with this uh, mannequin. This mannequin is a high fidelity mannequin. It actually talks. So I have a microphone behind there. We talk through the mannequin. She actually breathes. And she actually has a heartbeat. Um, she has a pulse. And what's really interesting is you can see her IV is going and we can literally put fluids in her, we can draw blood, we can do all kinds of wonderful procedures on her. If we look at the monitor, our patient's doing okay. She, her blood pressure's good, her heart rate's good. And so we can change those. And they will actually give injections, they will actually throw them out here, they can actually give IV pushes, they could give meds. It is really amazing what we can do with this technology. The patient in the far bed cannot breathe on his own. So he's connected to a ventilator, so our students are taught how to care for that patient because when they go in the hospital and they see that ventilator, will they know what to do? Probably not, but here they'll have an opportunity to practice and learn all about it. So this room is where they get their supplies from. Just like in a hospital, they have to figure out what supplies they need. That machine is actually an electronic machine. They actually have to put in a code, put their fingerprint on, and withdraw medications just like in a hospital. So Henry is actually tomorrow going to be using a simulation, a sickle cell anemia crisis. And tomorrow, actually, the students are scheduled to come in and take care of him. And you can see I'm getting all the machines ready. They can actually put medication through his G-tube, just like in a hospital, because we want them to practice and train how to use what they would see in the hospital. So you guys can see that we have this incredible nursery. Um, we have twins that were born. So these are the twins that are being warmed up. They were born today. And um, they're going to learn how to care for these twins, how to resuscitate them, how to wipe them. We are actually in the labor and the obstetric wards. Believe it or not, this mannequin does deliver, and we can program her to deliver a infant. If you look up on the monitor, I want you to see that she is contracting. Those little lumps are contractions. And what do you think the beep, 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 beeping sounds are? The baby's heartbeat. I am very proud to work at this school. Um, being able to bring students into a simulation, having them work with a patient who's having chest pain, and letting them problem solve and work in a very safe environment so that when they actually go to the hospitals and take care of our community, that they have that confidence that they need to go in and take care of that patient.